What's up, Cobra Kai fans? Today we've got some epic news for you. The release date for the much-anticipated season 5 of the show has been announced, and we're pretty excited to see Johnny Lawrence on our screens again. So buckle up, guys, place your bets, and settle in, because we're gonna deep dive into this karate dojo, and boy, do we have some serious theories. Let's move on with the video. First up, Cobra Kai is finally coming to Netflix this year. Ah, uh, finally. We thought the wait would never end, but thank God it has, and Cobra Kai season 5 is expected to drop on Netflix later this year in September 2022. The exact release date is confirmed to be September 9th and was disclosed at a festival in Los Angeles hosted by the streaming giant Netflix. And it seems like fans in LA weren't just lucky enough to be the first ones to know about Cobra Kai's comeback, but they were pretty much God's favorites as they got to see the special show for Cobra Kai that was arranged May 5th, 2022 at the Microsoft Theater in LA. The event was attended by the majority of the cast, including the ones no longer on the show, and let's just say it was a bittersweet trip down memory lane. It was all fun and games with lots and lots of teasing in between, and it pumped us up even further for the upcoming season. So who's going to be in season 5? Well guys, obviously we've got our expectations right, and we really think we'll see a majority of the cast from season 4 make their return. The trailer for season 5 confirms the appearance of our leads Daniel and Johnny, so we're pretty excited to see Ralph Macchio and William Zabka on our screens in the fall. Obviously, Thomas, Ian, Griffith will be making a comeback as the big bad Terry Silver again, and you can expect him to wreak absolute havoc in season 5 as he takes over the Cobra Kai franchise. Also, keep a lookout for John Kreese too, you guys. Sure, he had a potential prison stint, but that doesn't mean you've seen the last of him. He's going to come back for revenge, we can feel it. And we certainly haven't seen the last of Chosen either. Like that surprise cameo at the end of season 4. Who knew Yuji Okumoto would be making his comeback to the dojo as a surprise? cast member in season 5. We certainly didn't, and we're not complaining either. Now, what can fans expect from season 5 of Cobra Kai? Well, we have been promised that the dojo will be 5 times more rad than before, and we truly believe that will be the case. But until we see these guys return, we've got some theories about the chaos that awaits us in the upcoming season. Season 4 showed us that Terry Silver successfully takes over Cobra Kai after framing John Kreese for the assault of Stingray. This gave him the window of opportunity to revolutionize the dojo, but we expect the takeover will be pretty hostile. Terry's plan to expand the franchise will obviously attract more students, but that will probably just give more rise to rivalries with other student dojos. So expect more action, guys. Not that there's any lack of it whatsoever. Next, will Robbie and Tori actually leave Cobra Kai? Now hold up. We know that Robbie has struggled quite a bit to find common ground between Miyagi-Do and Cobra Kai's philosophies. When Robbie was mentoring Ken, he didn't expect him to turn into a bully, much less than a bully who intends to torment his ex's brother. His failed mentorship made him rethink everything he's ever known. And finally, he went up to his dad to ask for help. We think that Robbie will be encouraged by Johnny to leave. But given how much of a saint Robbie is, he might just try to right his wrongs and stay with the dojo to make amends with Kenny. And just like Robbie, Tori will too have an internal struggle of her own. After knowing Terry paid off the referee, which might have been the reason she she won, Tori feels conflicted about continuing her journey with the dojo. So maybe we can expect to see Tori come to terms with herself and her talent. Or maybe we'll see her moving on from the dojo once and for all. And lastly, Miguel finds his father. Miguel's struggle with not having a father figure in his life has been pretty hard on him. So when he packs his bags and goes to Mexico City to look for him, one might think that it's the love of a son for his father that pulls him across state lines to reunite. Wrong. While it could be a tearjerker of a reunion, Union, it will probably go down pretty badly, like insane levels of horrible here, because Miguel has no idea that his biological father is completely unaware that he has a child to his name guess that's something they have in common, not knowing crucial information. But Miguel will surely be in for a surprise once he figures out that this idea of a father that he has in his head is not the one he should anticipate. And then there's poor Johnny. Bless his heart, but have you ever had a teacher so dedicated? Regardless of the trouble he may get himself into, Johnny intends to go after Miguel to convince him to come back home. But it's probably not going to be a smooth round trip for him either, and we can expect a proper showdown 
showdown between him and Miguel's father. Nevertheless, expect Cobra Kai Season 5 to be full of crazy twists and turns this fall. And don't forget, Cobra Kai never dies. Moving on to other news. Up first, is Season 5 the end of the show? While Season 4 of the show was released in December 2021, the plans for Season 5 were already announced with it, so we were pretty relieved that there's more of the dojo to come. But with Season 5 release date inching closer and no whiff of another season, we're getting kinda concerned there won't be another installment to look forward to. Thankfully, the show's creators came through and made it clear that they have plans and there's definitely more to come. John Hurwitz has also said they've never really said how many seasons the show would have, but at this point, they've written beyond season 5 and have always envisioned Cobra Kai to be a six-season kind of show. Since writing new characters and bringing them to life has been so much fun for them, the showrunners have decided that they'll just see where it goes for now. And we're praying the creativity in the writer's room never stops flowing. Next, fans have had some concerns about the show's girl problems. The show has been a powerful, nostalgic reminder of the Karate Kid series that always seemed like an exclusive, only for boys type of movie. And while in 1984, there wasn't much to protest against these films, the show's current portrayal of women has had a few problems. The female characters on the show have almost no substance aside from either being a damsel in distress or a love interest. And even if they're a villain, there has been no offer of a redemption arc, especially to Julie Pierce, played by the lovely Hilary Swank. Now maybe it's the natural progression of the story, but you have to admit, the women are kind of like plot devices to the show instead of being something that inspires an audience. No doubt, Tori Nichols and Samantha LaRusso started off as great, complicated female characters when they were first introduced. But after four seasons, they've become so mundane that fans really just want more of these characters that were set up so perfectly. And we hope, with more seasons in the pipeline, these women rise above being just subplots and actually do something that's worthy of being on screen. And finally, the creators of Cobra Kai are planning to make a Duke Nukem movie. Just when we thought these guys can get possibly any cooler than they are, they announce a Duke Nukem movie. It seems like the writers are pretty fond of the millennial pop culture because Cobra Kai showrunners Josh Harold, John Hurwitz, and Hayden Schlossberg have decided to team up once again and produce the epic, legendary entertainment production for the fans. The same production house that gave us Godzilla and the Dune movies will be once again delivering another blockbuster with our favorite extraterrestrial alien hunter as the main star of the show. Back in the 90s, Duke was your resident tough guy that fought bad guys and looked so cool doing it that he was a household name in the video game industry, which is why the live-action film adaptation has got us pretty stoked to see our childhood fantasies come to life once again on screen. And one thing's for sure, if it's coming from the creators of Cobra Kai, then you can probably expect it to be pretty epic. That's a wrap for this video. What are your theories about the upcoming season of Cobra Kai? Let us know in the comments down below if you've got your own theories. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.